Teachers College of Columbia University in New York, founded in 1887, has a tradition of innovation in education. Today, they are studying the electrical activity of the brain to try and understand how people learn new languages, read and solve problems. Bob. 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 It's a little bit hard for me to say them even, but it's bub and bub. And those are sounds that matter in, um, the vowel sounds matter in American English. So just how quickly do we recognize sounds? In fact, it's not really a problem producing the sounds. Um, it's a problem perceiving the sounds. At the level of the brain, we can see that. Can anybody guess what kind of task might have been occurring here, just based on where the activations are? Up at the top here is the front of the brain. Yeah, yeah. You can tell something about what the brain is doing just by looking at where the activations are. So you can actually predict like, what letter somebody is looking at by looking at where the brain activation is. It's remarkable, really. Teachers from all kinds of institutions find these studies a useful. Of, a lot of what we do is close. No. Definitely not. I can understand sort of from an outsider's point of view, what was going on with the kids. I could see their behaviors and how they were interacting, but it was really hard for me to understand what was going on in their brains that autistic children are experiencing. Just understanding that sometimes need more oxygen to their brain, you know, I'd be able to help them with deep breathing and that could regulate their system a little. By studying the brain, I think I will be able to learn where in the brain is causing certain problems my patients are having. And I kind of see it as working with muscles. If you hurt your leg muscle, you wouldn't train your arm muscles to work better. So if I know which muscle or which part of the brain is causing the problem, I can target the skill better. For now, rather than showing how to treat disorders, neural research shows that any learning activity physically and alters the brain. You, if we can turn the chair around so that you're facing... For students at Teachers College to be able to think about that, they do find it really kind of invigorating and exciting to know that they're having that kind of impact.